again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 23rd of January, 2019. Just read an interesting article on CNBC. Michael Cohn postpones February the 7th congressional testimony. This was published on the 23rd. President Donald Trump's former personal lawyer and fixer, Michael Cohn, on Wednesday postponed his plan to testify before Congress in February because of concerns about his family's safety, Cohn's advisor Lenny Davis said. Davis cited ongoing threats to Cohn's family from Trump and the president's current personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, in the decision to delay his appearance before the House Oversight and Reform Committee where he was expected to talk at length about the president. That voluntary February 7 appearance is a month before Cohn is due to begin serving a three-year prison sentence for multiple crimes, some of which relate to Trump. It is now not clear when or even if Cohn would be willing or able to testify anytime soon given the looming sentence. Davis, in his statement Wednesday, said, due to ongoing threats against his family from President Trump and Giuliani, as recently as this week, as well as Mr. Cohn's continued cooperation with ongoing investigations, by advice of counsel, Mr. Cohn's appearance will be postponed to a later date. Mr. Cohn wishes to thank Chairman Cummings, that's right, Cummings for allowing him to appear before the House Oversight Committee and looks forward to testifying at the appropriate time. This is a time where Mr. Cohn had to put his family and their safety first. Hmm. Trump later told reporters when asked about Cohn, quote, I would say he's been threatened by the truth, end of quote. Quote, he's only been threatened by the truth and he doesn't want to do that probably for me or other of his clients, Trump said. He has other clients also, I assume, and he doesn't want to tell the truth for me or other of his clients. Giuliani had no immediate comment. Oversight Chairman Elijah Cummings, <coughs> Democrat and Intelligence Committee Chairman Goiterize Adam Schiff, Democrat California, said Cohn's concerns for safety was legitimate given the attacks by Trump and Giuliani. But they also said they expected Cohn to appear before their committee at some point. Trump last week urged people to, quote, watch Cohn's father-in-law, Fima Schusterman, who was placed on probation in the mid-1990s after pleading guilty in a case in which he was charged with conspiring to defraud the IRS. And Trump's other comments about Cohn days before that spurred coming Schiff and House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jared Naylor, Democrat, New York, to warn the president against trying to discourage, intimidate, or otherwise pressure a witness not to provide testimony to Congress. Giuliani, in an appearance on CNN last Sunday, had said Cohn is lying about Trump and also said that Shusterman may have ties to organized crime. A former New York City mayor and federal prosecutor, Giuliani, further said that Shusterman was involved in criminal activity with Cohn and that Cohn is withholding information about that activity because testifying about it would be dangerous for his father-in-law. A source close to Cohn told NBC News that Cohn's wife and father-in-law were particularly afraid about Cohn's upcoming scheduled appearance in Congress, and they feel directly threatened and targeted by Trump. Cohn's wife, Laura, was afraid of going to the hearing in person because she believed she was at risk of being attacked. The threats are real, the source says. Trump knows what he's doing. Cohn had served for years as Trump's personal lawyer and once bragged of being willing to take a bullet for the president. But he fell out with Trump in the early 2008 after FBI agents raided his office and several residents in New York as part of a criminal investigation. Cohn, 52, pleaded guilty later in the year to financial crimes, campaign finance violations, and lying to Congress. Cohn admitted facilitating hush money payments to two women, porn star Stormy Daniels and Playboy model Karen McDougal, shortly before the 2016 presidential election to keep them quiet about their alleged affairs with Trump. The president has denied having the affairs. 
Cohen also confessed to misleading Congress in 217 about when he had aborted a plan to build a Trump Tower in Moscow actually ended and about the extent of Trump's involvement in that project. Four months before he was sentenced in December, Cohen had cooperated with Special Counsel Robert Mueller, prosecutors in New York and other authorities who are investigating Trump. His continued cooperation with Mueller after his sentencing was expected to lead to limitations on the information he could share during his testimony before Congress. On January 12th, Trump, during an interview with Gene Pirro on Fox News, blasted Cohn, as he had done on prior occasions. Look, I was a client of his, Trump said. You're supposed to have lawyer-client privilege, but it doesn't matter because if I'm a very honest person, frankly. But he's on trouble on some loans and fraud and taxi cabs and stuff that I know nothing about. And in order to get a sense reduced, he says, I have an idea. I'll give you some information on the president. You want to read the rest of the article? You know, the whole thing's just big smoke screen. This is no different than what they did prior to the midterms with that uh, Caesar Seiko. You know, just absolute bullshit. Looking for sympathy, trying to make Trump look like he's some kind of a terrorist. What's Cohen afraid of? The answer? Nothing. Just a big game. I'll attach the link. You look at it. You let me know what you think. Thanks for listening.